Okay, so before we start, I just want to say that this is not the only way to record Counter-Strike. This is just the way I record it. There's no objectively right way to record it. Just whatever works for you. There's, in the description, there's timestamps to everything. And there's also the files that I've mentioned in the tutorial. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go over how to install the game. So, we should open up our links document and just take the URL of the game download. So, this. Open up Google and just paste it in like that. And we want to scroll down and this is the version we want. Counter-Strike Source version 34. And we want this thing here, which will start a direct download. It won't be this size. That's an error. It's, yep, it's going to be 1.4 gigabyte. And then we'll come back once that's downloaded. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, we should just have it on our desktop. It should be 1.4 GB and call the expanded CSS version 34. So we just open it up and then we'll go over how to install it properly. So for the language, I'm just going to press OK because it's English. Next, this is just choosing where we're going to install it. So I'm just going to leave it default, which is program files 86. And if you've got enough space, I'd just suggest leaving it default as well because that's how I'll do most of the tutorial. So next, next, we don't need a desktop icon. Uh, just install and then we'll just go through the install process if it comes up with anything on the screen that says abort retry or ignore just press retry and it'll go through it and it'll get past it it's just uh, having trouble installing the files but other than that it should be fine so I'll come back when it's done okay so now that that's finished installing we just want to uncheck launch counter strike source because we don't launch it like that and just press finish so what we're going to go over next is how to install the high quality models now for the high quality models we just need to once again open up google and put in this mega link and what we're going to want to download is this, the old CSS movie config. And I've got it on my desktop already. But while we're here, we should also download the updated background for the game. So we just copy and paste this in. And then we'll just go scroll down and just manual download and then download. So with the install on the default thing, I have a link already, which is pretty easy to make. You just go to your program files and just do create shortcut and it'll create one on your desktop. So we we'll use this and that just means it's easier to get at the files from when you put demos textures etc in so we're going to open up the C old css movie config now this was originally on a youtube video but the link wouldn't let me get on it anymore but i do have it downloaded so i've just uploaded it myself full credit goes to the guy who's made it uh his details should be in here and this should be in the text document as well um so with installing it we're just going to literally just copy this folder and we're just going to paste it once it's copied just paste it directly into here it's going to say it's moving items and then it's going to ask us to replace the files in the destination so we're going to press yes and just do this and then select this do this for all current items and just press continue and it'll go through and it'll just copy and replace those items that are like textures and models and stuff and it might take a little bit with the final write it's done this for me a few times now but it will get through it so next we just want to open up our minimalist csgo thing and we'll copy this for when this is done Okay, so now that this is done, we're just going to get this, copy, go into the CS strike folder and just paste it in. And then it'll ask us to replace the files and we'll just do that. Continue again. And then we've installed the high quality models and the updated background. So what we're going to go over next is how to install HLE. So once again, we're just going to copy this link here and we're just going to go and download it. And we just want to click this one, the 2.118, which is the latest version at the time of recording this video. And we should have it here. I'll put it to my desktop already. So we're just going to open it up and just extract all. And then go ahead and let it extract. So once HLE is downloaded and extracted, we're just going to run this, which is the HLE.exe. Now I'm going to create a shortcut just like that with the other one, the CSS expanded one. And we're going to put this on the desktop to make it easier than launch HLE. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and reshade. So I tried 4.9 reshade recently and it just doesn't work for me. So I've provided a download link for the reshade I'm using, which is 4.7. And here, now reshade installing on CSS, especially with the expanded version, it's very different to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So it's very easy. We just click here to select the game and then we go browse. And then we just navigate to our CSS expanded folder and we just select the HL2. Now, I'm going to suggest, it's up to you, you can install these shaders if you want, but I have provided my own reshade shaders, the ones I use, uh, in the mega folder, so I would suggest just leave it as it is, just press OK, it'll install the bare minimum, and then we'll just copy and paste mine in, and that way 
<coughs> it'll be easier to work with. So that should be installed and you'll know it's installed because you'll have a reshade.ini, a D3, D9, DLL and then the reshade shaders folder. Okay so now that reshade is installed we're just going to copy over the shaders. Now these are shaders all made by other people but these are the ones that I personally use. It's just it's going to work well with the reshade preset that I provide for, uh, in the description and it's just easier to use ones that are already like we know work so we're just going to copy and paste this in and it's going to ask us if we want to replace the files we just press yes and continue and that's reshade installed with the shaders and we'll, once we're inside the game we'll show how to navigate to the preset okay so now that we've installed the game we've installed HLE and reshade and stuff we're going to go over how to get set up just to start recording and stuff and we'll just set everything up and then we'll go straight into the recording so you want to open your folder so the CSS expanded one there should be a link if not just navigate to it and we want to go into C strike now we want to make a new folder and we want to call this demos and I'm going to use the AMC demos because these are the most known demos at the time of recording so we're just going to go in here and we'll take these we'll just copy the main ones we'll go into the demos folder and we'll just paste them in there Let's continue. So now we need to go to our CFG and uh, we'll notice we don't have anything currently. Now there is a in the old CSS movie config we installed, there's something called STV Smooth. So we just want to delete that because we don't need this. Um, and we also want to delete the auto exec, which might sound a bit weird, but I don't know. Just, I always deleted the auto exec and it works fine for me then we want to drag in source cfg and edit cfg which will be in the mega link where the reshade is and we just drag these in just press continue so now we're going to go over how to install hle so we've just gone over how to install configs how to get the game set up and ready to start editing on and we're just going to go over hle now so we just open up hle and press more info and then run anyway so the easiest way to open this for CSS is just Tools, Developer, Custom Loader. And now you'll notice that you ha mine has the sentence already dialed in, you know, because it uh, saves it from last time for some reason. So in the links document, there should be a copy-paste. Just select all of this and just paste it into here. If you want to change your width and height, you just edit it here rather than in, in the game. Because this way you can maintain it, like it doesn't have to restart every time. Uh, part of the auto exec overwrites the width and height and in terms of the program path you just want to browse and then just go to your where the game is installed and just go program files 86 css expanded and then hl2 and the afx hook source should already be there but if it's not you just go and get it here afx hook source here and just drag it into the dll's and then you just press ok ok so another part of getting set up is installing maps now there will be a download link in the description for the maps for the AMC demos uh, but it's also in the description of their video which is brilliant. So we just open up the maps.raw and here we have Mirage, Season and Tuscan. I hope I'm pronouncing them right. We just control C and then go to our expanded link and go to C strike and just go to maps and just paste them in. Just continue and now they're installed and that means we can open all the demos which is brilliant. Okay, so now that we've got the game open, it's going to open with the console open like this. And we just press the button below escape on our keyboard to close the console. And then we're going to load up a demo. So we just do shift plus F2, which will load up the demo playback. And we just press load. And we want to go here to CSS expanded, C strike, and then in the demos folder. And what I'm going to load is I'm going to load this, which I know is a GoTV demo, which is a P95K by Enzyme. So once we're in, we're going to just pause the demo by pressing pause here. And we're going to just close the demo UI by pressing Shift F2. And currently, we'll have this menu here. So we're just going to go first person here. And then we're just going to navigate to a player. So I'll go to the tick by pressing Shift F2. And we type in here, next to the go to, we're just going to put 14300. Now I know that it's 14300 because in the title here, it tells me the tick we're going to so just press go to and it should take me there and then what we want to do is we want to find our player so with finding the player sometimes it's easier to just go through and yeah figure out where it is so maybe go a little bit into the frag and then see who's doing the action etc 
So now that we've got this, we want to close this menu by just coming over to the options and just pressing close. Now we just want to exec our edit config, so we just open the console again and we do exec and then edit. And exec edit will change the FOV and it will also get rid of the panels on the bottom. Now before we start to record at all, we just want to make sure that our settings are right. So we just go settings, video, and we want to go in advanced and we want to make sure model data is on high, texture data is on high, shader data is on high, our color correction is disabled, we have no anti-aliasing on, we have shadow data on high and we have reflect all on. Okay, so now we're going to go over the process of using reshade in the game. So to open reshade menu you just need to press home on your keyboard and this is the reshade preset that we're using. We're using SMAA to clean up the edges. If you look here you can see they're quite jagged and then we use SMAA and it'll tidy it up. We use MXAO, the normal one by reshade itself and it adds MXAO here, here in the edges pretty much and then we're using Quint MXAO for the gun. Now in order to get yours to look like mine, you're going to need some certain settings. So first off, you want to go edit global preprocessor definitions, and you want to set your linearization far plane to 1000. You want to set your upside down to zero, your reverse to zero, and your logarithmic to zero. Now, you also need to go to this tab up here, which is DX9, and you need to do copy depth buffer before clear operations. You'll see that when we don't have this on, the reshade doesn't show. So copy this, and then it'll come like this, where it's like selected with the wrong thing and you just need to press this one here you'll be able to tell that it's this one because it'll have the number of draw cells etc etc so we need the one that's got the most amount of draw cells or the one that isn't 1080p I think this is the one that's been waiting for me recently but the main thing is just the fact that the copy depth buffer before clear operations is turned on right so from there we're gonna exec edit again just to make sure it's on and what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how to either keep the kill feed and remove the crosshair or remove everything. So to keep the kill feed but remove the crosshair, we just want to do CL underscore crosshair alpha. And just set this to zero and that will remove the crosshair but it will keep your kill feed. And if we set this back to 255, everything's back. But if you wanted to remove everything, so you don't want crosshair and you don't want a kill feed, it's just CL underscore draw hood. It's just CL underscore draw hood zero. And that removes the kill feed and it removes the crosshair. So I use DX Story for recording mainly because I have a second monitor. However, it's up to you what you use, but personally I'd recommend if you've got two monitors or if you're just looking to record just using DX Story because it works really well and it's quite nice. So these are my settings. Uh, I'll go here which shows you that I use Lyrith Lossus codec with these settings um, and these which is just limiting the video FPS etc etc now I do write to my fastest drive which is an M.2 SSD but it's up to you where you write to but I write to this because it gives me no frame drops so if we're going to go over how to actually record a POV we do host underscore timescale here which is, mine's already set to 0 0.03 but normally it'll just be uh, just be set a one. So I'm going to record for a thousand FPS, so 0 0.03, and then I'm going to do FPS underscore max, and this will normally be at 300. So you can see at the top left-hand corner it says 60 FPS. That's because uh, the XOR is limiting it right now. But if we do FPS underscore max and then set this to 30, and then we just do demo underscore resume in the console, and then just press. F8. Now F8 also brings up the menu, so you do want to start recording before you actually play. So just shift F2 to close it, and then we we'll start recording our POV. Okay, so now we're going to go over how to record cinematics in Counter Strike. So we're going to exec source, which will clear the console and bring up these, which is K for smooth mode, Q for adding a point, C E to start the camp path, etc. But I'll go through this now. So we just want to scroll wheel out. To be in third person. I'm just going to play this a little bit forward to remove this thing. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do CL underscore draw hood zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Merv underscore FOV 40. And then I'm going to press K. Now K puts me in what's called the smooth mode. 
which means I can move around while the demo is paused. So if I just do demo underscore resume, you can see the demo is still paused right now. And I can move around and I can use X and Z to rotate. And then I can place a camera point by pressing Q. So I'll do one here. And then I'm going to press F11 to resume the demo. And then K to pause the demo again. Now you notice when I pressed F11 that I didn't move at all. I didn't move my mouse. I didn't move my keyboard. Because if you do, what happens? I'll show you in a second what happens. I'll just put this here. If you move during the F11, your camera goes really like, crazy. Like you can't move it. And the way to reset this is by pressing Escape and then pressing K again to bring you back into that mode where you can move. And then you have to go from there. So if you ever like. If your camera goes crazy, just press F, just press K, and then escape, or just escape, but just don't move when you press F11. So I'll add another point. Now this city won't be great because I'm just trying to just trying to show what to do, etc. etc. So you'll see that this has an E. Is this grey around it? Now it'll be light green when you first do it. If you just press E, it'll. Uh, be enabled. So you can see now that the camera points are drawn. To get rid of this you just press P which will disable the viewing of them and if you press O it will bring it back. So I'm going to go through and just see when you shift F2 and you're still in that mode where it's moving you have to press escape which will take you into the cam point view and then you just go here. So we're going to put F10 which will reset the time scale and we just go back to our tick Okay, so now we're back at the tick, and we're just going to press Control to get rid of this, and we're going to do Hide Panel All, and we're going to press P to remove the cam points, and then we're just going to press F11 and do Demo Underscore Resume, and it'll just go through, and it'll play through the cine like so. And now that the cine's done, we'll just press. O again to re-enable the cam path, just to view it, and if we press C, that'll clear the cam path. So that's pretty much how to record cines. Now the other thing that we're going to go over is just how to use depth of field. So we're going to go press home, and we're going to enable cinematic depth of field. Now for cinematic depth of field, I personally either use autofocus or manually set in the focus plane. So we just use autofocus, it'll automatically focus on here, and we can just set our focal length, which changes how far away things are so it'll like ink oh so we can use focal length which means like it'll change how strong the depth is like the further see the blue line increases which means that like the there's a greater gradient on the depth of field it's not as strong at the front but it's stronger at the back so I, I usually keep it around 25 and then adjust you can adjust the far plane and near plane max blur and you can just adjust these settings just like this just copy them to what I have and it'll look good and then that means it'll keep the per the thing that's in focus so it'll focus on the background here and then it'll focus on the player if the player is in frame now what you can change is you can change this which is the autofocus transition speed so if your character moves out of frame for a bit like you can just set it to 0 0.05 or something like that and that way it won't automatically transition focus straight away uh, you can use it off, but I just I'm going to stick to cinematic depth of field for this tutorial. Uh, and yeah, that's how to use reshade and depth of field with uh, cines. Okay, so right now we're just going to go over how to record cinematics in a POV demo. So a POV demo, you'll be able to see that we can't swap player at all. We're moving around now. Uh, we try to open control, and none of the menus will open. So we're just going to go ahead and do SV underscore cheats one, and then we're going to do third person. And then we're going to exec source. So now that we're in third person with the sail and it's going to draw hood zero. And we'll press K once again and now we can move around within our demo. Now see that the sensitivity is quite high so we're just going to press minus minus. We can even go one lower to make us go back down. And then we just move around uh, like we do our demo as normal. And then we can just go ahead and press escape to reset our camera position. Then F11 to play through the demo, or F10 to go in normal speed. I'm paused, so I'll just do demo underscore resume. And it will lock to the player, but uh, if you press K, it'll be freed from that lock. And then you just go ahead, and I'll do escape again, and I'll do merv underscore FOV 
40. So I'll just press K. I'll make a cinematic. So once again, pressing Q to place a point. F11, not moving the camera at all. Then press K. And then just going to follow this player. Or oh, we'll switch to this guy. And then we're just going to press E to enable the cam path. And then we're just going to go back, press escape again to reset the camera position. And then we're going to press F10, make sure we're resuming the demo and go to our tick, which in this case is zero because I just started the demo. So we're going to go to this. And once again, it'll bring us into the POV. So we're going to have to do SV underscore cheats again. And then third person. And yep, yeah, you have to do that at the start of every demo uh, for the POV demos. And if we just press F11, it will then follow the player like so. Now to remove the text, it's a bit complicated, but you will get used to it. Uh, the text doesn't always appear, but if it does, we're just going to do R underscore draw VGUI, and we just press 0, which will dis disable all recording of the graphics user interface. So you'll see that the console won't even appear and stuff. Don't forget we're going to press P to remove the viewing of the cam points. And then we'll just go ahead and explain this. So you'll see that the mouse cursor changes, changes to like a like I thing. This this way you know you're in the console. So you press up arrow on your keyboard, then backspace, then one, and then it'll bring back the, uh, the graphics user interface. And that way it gets rid of the text, and you can go ahead and just use that. And if we just resume again, we'll go through and we'll play. Now, in terms of playing at a different time scale, you can try host. Because uh, when we press F10, we change the frame rate. So we change host underscore frame rate and we set this to zero. And we do host underscore time scale. I wouldn't recommend going anything lower than 0 0.05, especially for things like death animations. Because 0 0.05, I've had a lot of issues with death animations. Like not playing at the tick that you start them at. And what I tend to do is I personally tend to record at either 2000, at host underscore frame rate 2000 or host underscore frame rate 1000 and just use frame blending or Twixter to uh, account for any FPS drops that may occur. But we just go ahead and set this to timescale 0 0.05 and you'll see that it still plays and the models are still slow and stuff. Now with the POV demos they may be a little laggy but I've had people who edit CSS a lot tell me the same thing, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you just edit them in a way to avoid the showing the areas of lag, they'll be fine. And most of the time, you won't even notice it. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to go over is just some common errors that people have had with the config. It's mainly surrounding cinnies. So the first thing we're going to go over is just when your camera gets, like, spun out. So we just exec source and then say you do merv underscore fov50 or something. And you press K and you move around and, yep, yeah, you just do a bit of rotation. You put a camera point, right? clear this you just do a camera point and then you press f11 but you move around in it then you press k again you're like oh what's going on i can't move the camera if you press escape again you're gonna then you're gonna have to press k again and you'll get back into the mode but the simple solution to this is just when you press f11 you just don't move at all you don't move your keyboard you don't move your mouse anything you just wait until you're done and at your time you want you just press k and then you move now the other one could be you press uh, shift F2 and you're going to pause the demo go back to the tick you start to spin out and you can't really click anything once again just press escape and you see here you might get to a black part of the map and your screen might go black now if your screen goes black the best thing to do is just continue to press escape so make sure you're out of the camera and then you scroll so you become first person again and then you just scroll out and there you are you're back to the player so if you ever get a black and you can't scroll for some reason you just click to move the player if it's a POV demo I Honestly can't see it happening, but once again, if it is a POV demo, just turn off cheats and turn off third person, and you'll go back to first person. That pretty much covers every error that I can think of in terms of the config. If there's any errors surrounding textures, etc., or demos, then it's most likely that you either don't have the map, which we've already gone over, or you haven't installed the textures correctly, which we've already gone over. But if there is anything that you do have an issue with, just feel free to DM me on Discord. As long as you've watched the video and you've gone through and you've checked and it's not covered in the video, I'll try and help you uh, the best I can. Just my Discord's down below, just feel free to send me a message. So that's about everything that we're going to cover in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you do have any questions, just DM me on Twitter or Discord, which will be down in the description. And yeah, I hope to see some nice CSS edits. Uh, it's a really fun game to edit, and I would encourage people to edit it 
after AMC is over. Just there's a lot of demos out there. There's also a link in the description for them. But yeah, have fun editing.